QR code, a brief vision for quick response code, invented in 1994 by the Japanese company Denso Wave. Unlike the traditional barcode, the QR code is a two-dimensional matrix code, allowing the information stored horizontally, also vertically, providing a greater storage capacity. A QR code consists of dark and light elements called modules. Black modules represent 1, white modules represent 0. These binary numbers can then be converted into meaningful messages. To understand how to decode a QR code, it is better to know the different components in the QR code first. We can dissect a QR code into 8 parts. Quite soon, an at least 4 module wide margin helps the scanner distinguish between the QR code and its surrounding, make it easier to detect the QR code. Position pattern or finder pattern located at 3 corners of each code. It allows the scanner to quickly recognize the code orientation, so user can scan it at any angle. Separator It keeps space between the position pattern and the other information, helping the scanner to identify the position pattern. Alignment pattern A pattern that used for correcting distortion. In other words, strengthen the code on a curved surface. A QR code with more information will have more alignment patterns. For example, a version 40 QR code, which is the largest size of a QR code, consists of 46 alignment patterns. However, today we are displaying the version 1 QR code. This small version does not require any alignment pattern. Timing pattern Alternating black and white modules between the position pattern. This helps the scanner to determine the size of the data matrix. Now, we have covered all the function patterns. They do not store any information, but they are important components for the scanner. Move on to the encoding region. Version information. There are 40 versions of QR codes. Version 1 is the smallest, and version 40 is the largest. This region specifies which version is being used. Format information. This region contains information such as error correction level and mask pattern. I will talk about them in a minute. Data and error correction keys. This remaining region stores the data we need. With error correction data, the correction is done by rich sodomon codes. It allows the QR code still be scanned if this happened. There are four levels, low, medium, quartile, and high. The higher the level, the higher error correction capability. However, less storage space. Here's the interesting part, decoding. I will show you step by step. So as not to confuse you, I use orange represent the separator, purple represent the timing pattern. What you need to do is just ignore them. When we get a QR code, the first thing you want to look at is the format information. These two lines contain the same information. They appear twice because they are important for the scanner. These two modules colored in red is the error correction level. You can see this QR code have two white module here, but this may not be a level H QR code. I will explain it in a moment. The really first thing you need to look at in the format information is these three modules in green. It represents the mask pattern used in this QR code. The QR codes you can scan in daily life is usually masked. You need to take off the mask pattern first. There are eight patterns the computer can use to generate QR code. For this one I'm showing, you can see black, white, and white. However, this QR code does not mask with pattern 4, but pattern 1. Why? For these 5 modules, we need to perform an exclusive OR. Don't be scared by this term, it is easy to understand. Let's say I'm dating with two girls and they don't realize each other. When neither of them is with me, am I happy? No. When girl A is with me, am I happy? Yes. When girl B is with me, am I happy? Yes. When I'm dating with one of them, but match the other one, am I happy? Absolutely not. So, if the original module is the same with the module on the masking pattern, it is a zero. Otherwise, if they are different, it is a one. In any processed QR code, these five modules need to perform an exclusive OR of 10101. So, we get 10001, meaning of level M error correction with the 001 mask. Now, 
we apply the mask into the QR code. Perform an exclusive OR in this data. We are lucky getting a relatively simple mask pattern. What I did here is insert the mask as grey modules. Then, turn the overlapped black modules into white. In other words, converting the black modules on the grey lines into white. After that, fill up the remaining grey modules into black. Congrats, you finally got an unmasked QR code. You don't need to worry about the blue and brown area to understand the message. You already passed the most difficult part. The upcoming procedure is simple. This area within the yellow border is where the data is stored. Just like reading a book, we have a direction when reading. In the world of QR code, we start at the bottom right. Then go up like a zigzag, and then go back down, up and down like this. The first four block square is the encoding region. It tells us the encoding mode used in this QR code. 0100 means it used bytes encoding. Other encoding mode can be numeric, alphanumeric, Japanese, etc. Next, we start looking at every eight modules in this byte encoding QR code. This area tells you the message length. 0000000 one zero zero is four. So we need to look four blocks to see the entire message. Message one, message two, message three, and message four. So we get zero one, zero one, zero one, one zero in message one, zero one one zero, zero one zero one in message two, and so on. After you finish, you should see a two times two white block. It tells you this is the end of the message. The rest module are for the error correction, which you don't need to worry about. However, this message such as 01010110 are meaningless. Certainly not what we are looking for. Imagine you are reading a text from a language you don't know. You need a translation dictionary. Now, we don't know the language of computer. We also need a translation dictionary. For a byte encoding QR code we use today, the dictionary we need is ASCII. Each number, letter, and symbol have a corresponding number. This is a standard and globally recognized. Let's try translating message 1. 01010110 is 86, which is the capital letter V. If you don't know how to convert a binary number to a decimal number, simply Google binary to decimal converter. Let's try the next one. Message 2. 01100101 is 101, which is the lowercase e. If you don't know how to convert it and somehow not able to use the converter, you can watch the number like this. In a descending order from where you start reading, add up the field number also work. Take message 3 as an example. 2 plus 16 plus 32 plus 64 is 114, which is the lowercase r. For message 4, 1 plus 16 plus 32 is 49, which is 1, and followed by an N code. So, you know the message of this QR code is VER1, abbreviation of version 1. Let's do a quick recap on how to decode a QR code. Step 1. Find out which mask pattern was applied using 10101. Step 2. Use the exclusive OR method to take off the mask. Hence, restore the original modules. Step 3. Read from the bottom right corner. Figure out the encoding mode. Step 4. Figure out the message length. Step 5. In each block, translate the binary numbers using the appropriate translation dictionary. Congratulations! You acquired a new skill, relatively a useless one. You can decode the QR code in seconds with your mobile phones, but you spend hours decoding it yourself. But don't worry. There is a guy spent weeks to figure out what's happening and made a video about it. It is really because you subscribed that I kept my promise to make this video even spending so much time. Although I believe most of you will not try to decode the QR code after this video, I hope you find it easy to follow and learn something about QR code. I'm PK Catcher. see you next time.